Hey everybody, this is Terry. I wanted to give everybody a quick update on what I've been up to for the past several months. I uh, haven't really put up a lot of videos, if any, so I don't really know where my last video, uh, what I was even working on. Uh, as far as the Model A is concerned, I went ahead and finished welding up the problems that I had with the doors. Uh, Went ahead and took the interior out, took it downstairs, uh, got the leather for it. So when that comes to pass, I, I got to have everything that I need for that. Uh, I was working on this door here, and this door here had a sign screwed to it. Well, when, it, when the holes got welded shut, it kind of took some of the fullness out of this door. This door is supposed to be kind of a little a little bit of bulb, bulb to it. You can see, you can see down there, it's kind of pretty flat as opposed to this side here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. But anyway, it's got kind of a, this is, this is, this pattern here is for like the driver's door. This is, matches the driver's door. So, you can see that. Yeah, there's a little bit of a gap there. So, what I had ended up doing was ordering a patch panel, a door skin for it, and that'll get me a lot closer than what I've got. So I have to put that that on. So I, I've kind of stopped working on that for now. A lot of stuff has happened. Uh, I actually got me a new pickup, which is not this one. I've had this truck for the better part of 17, 18 years. This is actually a 93. Z71. Uh, this one we painted back in probably 2000. This truck is sporting uh, 99, 1999 colors. Uh, it was originally silver along the bottom. Uh, we made a stencil to paint the Z71 part in. Uh, I don't know if I said it or not, but this truck was a hail recovery out of Oklahoma. Uh, we went through the whole truck. This truck's not supposed to have an overhead console, but it, at the time that we rebuilt it, we went ahead and decided to go ahead and put that in. Uh, it's a really nice truck. I, you know, it's been sitting in the other garage for the better part of eight years. Once I bought my house, it just kind of sat over there uh, while I built a garage and worked on other stuff. So. Uh, Let's fast forward to a couple weeks ago. I went to start it up and back it out, and it wouldn't start. So I knew that I couldn't hear the fuel pump running, so I assumed it was a fuel pump, which I was right. So went ahead and ordered a fuel pump for it. Had to use another truck to push it over here to the big garage. Uh, Took, it, took everything out and when we got everything out and looked inside the fuel tank, well, let me rephrase that. When we got the fuel pump out, it was apparent that we had an issue. Let's look at this. So see how nice that, see how nice that looks? Isn't that sweet? A little bit rusty, huh? I don't know if you guys can see down in there or not. You're not gonna be able to see down in there, but the fuel tank looks looks very similar. From the fuel line up, it's just completely rusted beyond recognition. So I guess that's pretty much what happens when you uh, don't drive your stuff and stink. I will tell you that that stuff stinks to high heaven. Smells like a salvage yard. If you ever wandered around a salvage yard, uh, yeah, that's kind of pretty much what that smells like. Pretty bad. So, a new fuel tank, new fuel pump, new fuel filter, uh, a little bit of gas, and a couple days worth of work. 
and it runs again. This truck has always had a good air conditioner and the air conditioner stopped working. So when, once I actually got it running again, I went ahead and drew a vacuum on it and put a can of sealer in it and recharged the air conditioner. And now it's running like I want it to again. The only thing that's kind of odd is and maybe somebody has experienced this issue before. I don't, I don't understand what has happened. But this, it has an aftermarket stereo in it, which is what that is. No sound at all comes out of the, any of the speakers. None. Okay, so if I take that stereo out and disconnect one of the speaker wires coming out of the back of the stereo, I can put a jumper wire and put it on, hook it up to that speaker that's on that table over there, and I have I have sound. I can take that one over there out, that speaker over there out, put a jumper wire on it to that speaker, and I have sound. But yet, none of the speakers work. What are the odds of every speaker stop working at the same time? Has anybody even heard of that? I looked under the seat, there's no, no amplifier for the speakers or anything like that. So, don't really get it. It's kind of beyond me. I've never experienced that. I'm not 100% sure that it's not a head unit problem. Don't know for sure. Maybe that head unit's not putting out enough, enough uh, amperage to, to, dry, to drive them, the, the speakers, but they're just factory speakers, so I wouldn't think that would be it. But you would think that would, some sound would come out of them at all. That's completely no sound at all. But, it's like I said, you know, I haven't drove this truck in eight years. At least eight years. So, whatever's wrong with it, it's my own fault. I did it to myself. But, anyhow, my actual new truck that I got as a daily driver is a 2004 uh, S10 four-wheel drive crew cab. And I'll put up a video of that later on. I got rid of the red S10. I sold that to my brother. I actually had more money invested in that truck just this year alone than what I actually got out of it when I sold it. But we kept it in the family, so I guess that's what matters to me the most. Yeah. So anyhow, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on. Probably have some videos on this door skin deal for long. And I have another video on my my new pickup. I just wanted to touch base with you guys. I hadn't put a video up in a while. So, you know, I hope everybody had an awesome 4th of July and uh, we'll talk at you later. What Bye. are you doing? What are you doing? Everybody, this is, this is our newest member of the family. Her name is Dakota. She is Sierra's sister, literally. Literally, Sierra's sister. Uh, her mom and dad, or Sierra's mom and dad. We bought Sierra uh, Dakota from the same breeder that we bought Sierra from. So, I'd like to introduce everybody to Dakota.